Today guys we take a look at a new addition, shotgun wise, to the alien tech Torg family. It's called the Shocker and is it stepping on the toes of the lab? Well today people we find out. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy leaving a like, it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So the Shocker is a new shotgun exclusive to the Guns, Love and Tentacles DLC and its dedicated drop is an enemy called Voltborn who is located within Nigor Neshai on Xylagos and I'm pretty certain it drops offering shock only. So looking at the shotgun on paper it's quite decent but if we do compare it to the lab it kind of lacks in all departments. But guys, we have seen many many times that stats on paper don't really determine how good a weapon can be. So looking at the weapon and how it performs, we see with its low mega 4 consuming 2 ammo per shot, it fires a lob like orb projectile that splits into 3 which do indeed travel at some speed. Damage wise it's ok on a single target but I do feel you get more out of this thing from area of effect damage and letting off against adds grouped up. But swapping to the lob we see here damage is considerably higher. This test by the way to make sure it's as fair as possible I'm doing without any class mods or artifacts equipped. So yeah the lob deals way more damage. There's no two which ways about that. So using this shocker for about 3 or 4 hours straight I can tell you it is a great weapon. An enemy with a shield stands absolutely no chance. Them fast firing projectile speeds paired with the 3 orbs means even targets at great ranges don't really stand a chance. Enemies at closer ranges with this thing, comparing it to the slow firing lob though, they were just so much easier to hit and do damage too. Using the lob in many instances you will notice a target at close range will sometimes move prior to your projectiles touching them. There's no chance of that happening here with this shocker. And after the time I did spend using this thing, it does share many similarities with the lob but I do feel they are completely different weapons. While the lob is amazing for single target damage and just laying down ultimate amounts of damage due to its orbs penetrating targets and doing tick damage, this thing is capable of many things we can't really do with the lob. But hey, taking that into account, I personally don't think I will see anybody taking this over the lob shotgun. The lob just makes everything, almost everything the game offers a walk in the park. Put it this way, even with my shocker's anointment of 100% cryo damage while sentinel is active applied, damage wise it still lacked by about 100 levels compared to the lob and the damage output the lob is capable of. And within a game where dealing max damage in your short time is almost always a necessity, the lob just can't be touched by such weapons. So yeah guys my thoughts on the shocker, it's a very very good weapon indeed, it has a lot of uniqueness to it and the way it performs, but at the end of the day if you have a lab, I don't feel this will be too beneficial to you unless you are after something specific. But all in all, it is a great weapon. If the lab wasn't in this game, I'd pull it up there with some of the best shotguns in the game. But considering its older brother, the lab is a much, much better weapon in almost every single way and comes in all elements. Again, unless you're after something specific like the shocker for a certain build, I don't feel it will be any use to anybody out there who does have a selection of labs in their bank. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new and who want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.